Okay, in this plate tectonics lesson, we're, we're going to talk about the inside of the Earth. We're going to take a look at the composition of the Earth, how it's divided into three big areas, the core, mantle, and the crust. And we'll just kind of briefly talk about the lithosphere and the asthenosphere. The structure of the inside of the Earth, can, as mentioned, can be broken up into kind of three big areas, the crust, mantle, and core. The mantle can actually be broke up into what's called the upper mantle and the convecting mantle. We're going to talk more about that convecting mantle in another lesson. The core can be subdivided into the outer core and the inner core. The inner core being at the very center of our planet and the outer core surrounding it. Outer core being between the, the inner core and the mantle. The crust, which makes up the top, is less than 1% of the Earth. Now, for us, it's the most important part because we walk around on it, we live on it, but it actually makes up a very, very small part of the planet itself. And as we go through these lessons on plate tectonics, we'll see how the other layers, although we don't see them, really are, um, in many ways, more important. The crust can also be subdivided into oceanic crust and continental crust. The mantle underneath that is a hot, super hot rock layer and represents about 68% of the Earth's mass. So most of the Earth is actually made up of the mantle. The core is, mo is made mostly of uh, iron metal. The core makes up about 31% of the Earth. The inner core is solid and the outer core is actually liquid. And that's really... The, the main difference between the inner core and the outer core is that the outer core is liquid. There is some differences in, in the minerals that make up the core, the di differing, differing amounts of, of iron and nickel and other such metals. And there is also these kind of sublayers or different kind of classifications, what we call the lithosphere. Uh, the lithosphere is actually made up of mostly the crust, and just a little bit of the upper part of the mantle. The lithosphere is a uh, rigid layer. The asthenosphere is a partially melted part of the upper mantle and behaves more like plastic and can actually flow and move around. So how do we know what's inside of the Earth? We've never actually been to the center of the Earth. We have rock samples and we can go very deep, um, miles deep in fact, but we've never actually been close to the center of the Earth. So some of these samples can tell us a bit about what's going on inside the Earth, uh, but a big part of it actually comes from earthquakes and studying different, and studying how the energy waves behave differently from earthquakes. The energy waves from earthquakes actually behave differently as they're going through liquid and as they do through solid in different combinations in between when they go through different types of materials. As we go deeper, uh, so as the depth increases, it will go deeper into the earth, the pressure also increases. And uh, along with that, the temperature increases. Now in the first few feet or so of the earth, when we go down, it actually gets a little bit cooler. Uh, so, you know, if you head down to a basement or, you know, into low lying areas, it's cooler, but actually, um, after a few uh, a few dozen feet or so, the temperature actually uh, will start to stabilize. And then as you go deeper, it will actually increase. Okay, what I want to do now is show you a quick interactive website here. I'm going to show you this in the video, but you can actually go there and check out some of these tutorials yourself. All right, this is from the Interactive's Dynamic Earth website. And you can see as I move the mouse over the different areas, it highlights... A different part of the earth so we've got the crust there and then uh, off to the right it gives us a little description about the crust being hard and rigid it's the earth's outermost and thinnest layer only a few miles thick uh, then we have the mantle which makes up most of the earth subdivided into two regions the upper and lower uh, this dense layer is made of hot semi-solid rock located directly below the crust and is about 1800 miles thick then moving on, farther into the Earth, we've got the outer core, the only true liquid layer. 
a sea of mostly iron and nickel. And then finally we end up at the core, an extremely hot solid sphere of mostly iron and nickel. Again, you can also see uh, highlights over here. They talk about the lithosphere again and the asthenosphere along with those other main layers.